Today I'd like to introduce a couple of very unique items in my collection, but before I do that I want to give you just a little bit of background. What you're looking at here are examples of Huaco pottery from Peru, or that general region, I guess. And it's my understanding that they date from pre-Columbian times, so before Columbus came to the Americas they were making this kind of pottery for hundreds of years. And it, it was basically ceremonial pottery. It was decorative and often didn't really have any real purpose except to serve, you know, as decoration. They would show things like uh, people's heads or animals or various things like that. And they had kind of a distinctive style to them. I noticed in 2014 that a person from Peru was selling some new style uh, Huaco pottery, they called original Huaco, that was based on modern characters such as Marvel characters or Star Wars characters and so forth. And I decided uh, when I saw that they had a Jabba, I had to get some of those. So I got these direct from Peru back then. And I'd like to introduce them to you today. Uh, this one here you can see is black. And if we turn it around, maybe you can see Jabba's features a little bit better. We've got his hands, of course. The tail is wrapped around this way. And we've got his face and everything. You know, it looks uh, pretty much like Jabba, I would say. If we turn it this way, you can see it's got the distinctive Huaco handle there, which is hollow. And you can see inside and in all the little grooves and wrinkles and things that there's little bits of sort of sand or dirt. It makes it look like this could have been unearthed from some sort of archaeological dig. And on the bottom, there's no real decorations, although it looks like I can see some brush strokes. So I think this, uh, I believe, has actually been painted black. And if you look closely, um, that sort of earthen tone is the actual color of the clay. And I also have, in addition to this black version, a more realistically painted version of Jabba. So we've got the green and orange coloration, as well as his eyes being colored in. Let's see if we can get a closer look at that. And look at the other side as well. I really like these. I, uh, you know, there, there are some items that you just sort of have to jump on as a collector. Uh, I don't know how long he sold these after I bought them, but I don't think it was very long. And unfortunately, as far as I know, these are long gone in terms of, uh, you know, their availability. Anyway, uh, they're definitely two of the more unique items in my collection. And I just thought I would share them with you today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.